Hi, this is Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage here in Folsom, California, and I'm here with Hector Alvarez. Great having you here. Thank you for having me. Hector has a company, Alvarez & Associates, and they're focused on helping uh, workplace prevention and doing consulting in that area. First of all, what is workplace violence? So, so workplace violence is very broad, uh, and it does cross every industry. What it, what it really is is any type of assaultive behavior, threats, intimidation, even all the way down to some people are now including bullying hmm. into the idea of workplace violence. So workplace, uh, right? So bullying, that's something we don't think a lot about, but it really has a big impact, doesn't it? It, it does, and it's interesting. We work with all types of companies and organizations, so everything from ele elementary schools to corporate offices. And bullying comes up in both those environments. Hmm. And interestingly, the, uh, the behavior is unbelievably similar between a kindergartner and sometimes what you're seeing in the corporate environment. So what, what, what can you do to help them? You know, well, and that's the million dollar question. You know, bullying is on a lot of people's minds. We're trying to find a solution. And there's a lot of emphasis on identifying bullying behavior, the things that bullies do. And I think a lot of people understand what it is. What we're trying to figure out is give people options when they're being bullied. Hmm. Um, you know, we, we were talking a little bit about the real estate industry, and one of the challenges you have with people who are bullies, sometimes they're your top performers. Right. Sometimes they're the dynamic personality. Uh, but other times they're just people who have a difficult time getting along. And those who are being victimized often have a difficult time standing up and just saying, you know what, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Sure. And I don't like that. What we need is what's called social proof. Social proof that it's okay to stand up and say, you know what, I don't like what you just said, and I'd appreciate it if you stopped it. Absolutely. Um, oftentimes, when we're brought in, we'll find out that everybody knew who was uh, behaving inappropriately, but nobody felt either comfortable saying something, either because they thought they'd get in trouble or they thought maybe nobody would listen. Sure. Well, you talk about two classes of people, and a lot of times we don't really think about it, but your top performers are being protected by a lot of people because they're making people money uh, or succeeding in school, or two, they're kind of in the corner so people don't notice them as much, right? Yep. Yeah, and the problem is that environment will work for a little bit until it reaches a breaking point. Mm -hmm. And once it reaches a breaking point, then the workplace is in chaos and nobody's performing. Everybody's chasing their tails, doing investigations, and it becomes this big mess. Sure. So being able to stop this behavior well before it becomes a problem is very important. That's great. Well, and, and as a uh, business opportunity, there's a lot of opportunity. I mean, one of the areas that we care about is real estate. I work with a lot of realtors. You're probably a realtor watching this. And we're exposing ourselves continuously all the time. Uh, you know, we're getting out. Social media is a great example. Yeah. Uh, putting our, our names, our information, our family information, where we're going to be, even when we're going to be there. Yeah, you know, both both as an employee and employer, it's important. It's very important to understand your environment. If you're working in the office, you're exposed to one set of hazards. But as soon as you take that call to go meet somebody someplace, uh, you start exposing yourself to different things. Mm -hmm. Have you let somebody know where you're going? Right. Uh, do they know when they expect you to come back? The other thing, and you mentioned it too, that we're hearing a lot of uh, from a lot of our female friends, is that social media has created an opportunity for short of predators to just creepy people mm. to constantly reach out to them through social media. Wow. Uh, I talked to a friend the other day, and she she told me that every single day she's having to block somebody on social media. Mm. Um, she'll get creepy requests in the middle of the night. She'll go to an event and immediately get friended from people. So my bit of advice to her was, one, definitely block them, but pay attention to who you're blocking. Absolutely. Make a note of it in case that name ever comes up. I would not friend somebody, if you're inclined to do that on Facebook, who had a brand new account. Right. Um, that's, that's a warning sign. Now, why is that? Um, most people, if you're going out into a, a networking event, would likely already have an established Facebook account. It's like taking a check from somebody who's zero, zero, 001. It's taking uh, uh, an appointment from a doctor who just graduated. Sure. Um, it's just a little bit of affirmation that the person is credible, that the person actually exists, uh, and that they can just create an account for the sole purpose of harassing you. Wow, that's great. So. Social media is a huge area, and those are some good tips that you shared. So what happens if somebody gets into a situation and they need to, they need to act quickly? 
you've got MOVE. MOVE is a really yeah. neat acronym that I've even had a chance to teach our kids because it doesn't matter if you're a little one or a big one, it can make an, a big impact. Tell us about MOVE. Yeah, you know, we are all about prevention. And, and myself, my family, my friends, I, I would absolutely all want them to avoid something before they ever got themselves in a situation. But things do go wrong. And we did. We came up with an acronym, a, a way to help people understand the options that they have if something goes wrong. Because what we have found in a lot of these incidents, uh, be it violence, be it an attack, be it something going on, is that we're just nice people. Mm -hmm. And we just have a hard time responding. Sure. And more often than not, people just freeze. Right. They sit there not knowing what to do and keep themselves exposed to danger. So the idea is... Uh, you, you have to make a, a decision in advance that you want to go home. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple, basic decision. Either you or me, right? You or me. I want to go home to my family. I think you want to go home to your family. Sure. That's why we work. That's why we do the things that we do. Uh, the concept behind MOVE is just no matter what's going on, if you just hear repeated over and over your head, you got to move. Kevin, you got to move. you got to move. Get your feet going uh, to get you out of the situation. Uh, philosophically, your body can't go or your mind can't. I've sure. never taken it. So if you can just spend a little bit of time thinking of advance that there's a remote possibility something can happen. Sure. You make yourself that much less likely to become a victim. Yeah. So watching where you're going, paying attention while you're there, knowing how to get out of there. Yeah, and it's interesting. People always say that, and I, I hear the recommendation, always pay attention to your surroundings. And I'm not sure that I really like that because mm. uh, it doesn't really give you an idea what, what you should do. Sure. Um, I like to modify it a little bit. Pay attention to changes in your environment. Yeah, you, that's excellent. me, we all know what's normal for our environment, the car that's out of place. I could go to your neighborhood, and every car could be parked in the wrong driveway, and mm -hmm. I have no idea that that was wrong. Right. You came home, you go, wow, why did they all switch cars? <laughs> exactly. It's the same thing if you're out in public. People look at you a little bit longer, uh, a noise behind you that's normally not there, a mm. door that's open that's normally closed. Um, only you would understand an environment. So pay attention to changes in your environment. Right. Once you recognize that change, then you can bring up your level of awareness and be prepared to do something. Excellent. Good. Well, that's Hector Alvarez. We're really glad to have you here. It's good spending time with you as always. You're doing a lot of speaking all around we're, Sacramento we're right all now. Over Sacramento. In fact, we're all over the country now. So have that's a lot awesome. of fun. Well, good. Good having you here. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Appreciate it.